Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I have here an article for, from Politico, and they are lying by omission. That is, uh, I give you three options, and uh, when you're going to go and tell mommy about the options I gave you, you're going to say, hey, mommy, daddy gave me two options. What does that mean? That is lying by omission, okay? Because I gave you three options. So, this is what Politico does, Politico, does with uh, Putin's speech. Well, my advice as always is, always is go to the source, which is listen to the guy who makes the statement and you make up your mind. You're not an idiot, you know how to assess those things. I mean, if you need help, you know, obviously you're in uh, danger and that means you have to enhance your knowledge, that's all. And it takes time, that's fine. But if you want to do that, you will succeed. You're not dumber than uh, these uh, weasels on the TV, you know, the uh, so-called experts, analysts, and all those uh, ex-CIA, ex-FBI, ex-agents, ex-this, and so on, okay? So I'm going to show you here how political will interpret one line from Putin's speech. I watched and listened Putin. He came out today and he made a speech of about five minutes and at minute four and uh, 14, I will show you, I have it ready, he makes a claim. He says to the Wagner group, you have these options. One, you can swear allegiance or you can go and, uh, you know, um, go into uh, the um, Russian military which is obviously swearing allegiance to the country, or you go to your families, back to your families, or if you want, you can go to Belarus. Now, there's three options. Go into the uh, Russian military, join the military, the proper military. Second, go to your families and, you know, become a civilian again. And the third one is, if you choose, go to Belarus and continue as a Wagner Group uh, private military company. That means private military company in Russia will be no more, or at least Wagner. So there's three options. Politico tells us there's two options. So I will show you Politico, and this is from today, the 26th of June, 2023. International. Putin tells rebellious Russian fighters to swear allegiance or leave for Belarus. How many options you, you hear here or you see here? Two. Swear allegiance or live for Belarus. All right, so it says the Russian leader uh, presented part of the short-term resolution for the stunning turn of your weekend events that uh, upended the front in his invasion, blah, blah, blah. And he, they're going to say it again. President, Russian President Vladimir Putin on Monday ordered mercenary troops who participated in a short-lived weekend rebellion to either swear allegiance, he didn't order anything, to their country or leave for Belarus while declaring that any mutiny attempt who have failed. Declaring that any mutiny attempt would have failed. Okay, so let's now go and watch Putin's speech. Here, I'm just gonna go, it's from Sputnik, it's from today, it's 5 minutes 17, but hey, I watched this one, so uh, I will go to minute, uh, let me go and see here. I'm gonna do it with you guys. Minute 4.13, and at 4.13 is going to be, uh, you know, uh, subtitles over there. It says, today you have an opportunity to continue Russia by signing. It's an opportunity. It's not order. Those guys said it's an order. So, ready, let's put this a high volume, just in case. Ready, set. I'm going to go to 4.10. Let's go to 4. Uh, ten. One option. Or, Alright, you got it? I go back. I mean, you have one. To go to to go to your um, to, 
let me just there is yes, uh, maybe low mr putin today you have right the opportunity do you have the opportunity to continue is not order to continue serving russia by signing a contract you can do that and as an or okay with the ministry of defense or other law enforcement agencies so that's one option and then is the or come on come on or to return to your families and friends and what's over there at the last one that's a dot over there right point right period right there so the option is you do that or you go to your families and then he says or if you prefer those who want can also go to belarus that's it and he says my promise will be kept that means i will not fuck you up okay now contrast this thing with this thing putin tells rebellious russian fighters to swear allegiance or leave for belarus is it true and he says here he said on monday putin ordered mercenary troops who participated in the blah 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 blah, blah to either swear allegiance he, he did he order them did he order no he didn't to either swear allegiance to their country or live for belarus where's the family and friends thing buddy so who's and you can read this and they're not going to come up with uh, anything else so this is a clear example i would like to use it so you know that uh, and don't don't think that this were made this article that politico came up with let me see who was the weasel who made it have a name here let me see yes andrew zhang and gabriel gavin or gavin let me just show you so we are on the same page right here andrew zhang and gabriel gavin so they made this little thing do you think that these guys just did not listen to putin's speech do you think they were sloppy i don't think so because if you're sloppy in that the whole article the whole title title is created you know it there's no way you miss that one but you wanted to frame it this way including the word ordered i didn't hear order all right so my friends i do this just so you share it with others and show how our media is uh, forming opinion and they are the right the media of the free world and free press and all that and this is something that you can compare many times in my uh, life i watched people bad people being interviewed and i will give you a few names uh, mahmoud ahmadinejad and iran had a foreign minister very intelligent i can't remember his name right now uh, that he actually uh, negotiated the nuclear nuclear uh, uh, whatever that is uh, I can I can find a word with the United States France and all the first one and then eventually um, the Americans withdrew under Tr Trump got out of it I can't remember his name but anyway another guy he was interviewed by and you li uh, those two I listened to Putin being interviewed bad guy I listened to Lavrov being interviewed bad guy and you learn I listened to uh, Giarto of um, Hungary, which uh, it turns to be uh, nowadays a bad guy, and people like this. And you say and listen, listen to that, the question, the answer, the question, the answer, and then you read the next day the articles about it. And you say, wait a minute, I listen to these guys, or I can read the article and say, oh, that's a, uh, an interesting article. And I find a video with an um, um, interview, and I listen to it, and I say, this is not what this guy said. It's totally different, different interpretation, different nuance. Here the nuance is what? Putin, the dictator, orders you either or you go over there. Well, I'll let you be the, be the judge for, uh, for whatever he said over there. Well, um, this is what I got. Now, if the Russian, I, I will give Politico one, one little way out. If the Russians lied in their, you know, uh, caption, in their translation. So if they lied over there and they put the all go back to blah, 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 but I don't think so. But, you know, that I don't speak Russian, unfortunately. I would like to speak each and every country on this planet if I could. 
but um, I don't think that Zhang by default and the other ones will just because they frame the whole thing that way, including the ordered. Putin did not uh, show like he was ordering anybody, but who knows? But I'm not gonna play uh, like this because sometimes when you see, let's say, you see your, uh, let's say, what you maybe I hope you haven't seen anything like this, your girlfriend or your wife, you know, uh, being in a car with an unknown male. Instead of saying, wait a minute, she's cheating on me. That's the obvious thing. What the hell is she doing over there? You know what I mean? Or see them coming out of a hotel room or something like this or hotel. Instead of saying, no, that's clearly something bad. You try to find all kind of justification for her. Like, oh, maybe I didn't see it. Maybe they met someone. Maybe were with business something over there. No, don't go to that one. Go to the straight one. The same here. I'm not going to. I tried a little bit. I said, maybe the Russians, you know, added that in translation instead of saying the obvious thing no those guys came with only two this is what he said according to the russians bye bye now it's their turn to come and say wait a second praja kozhnya media buga means this and the russians queue up emil until then bye bye they lied so thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just